demonstrate using the 20% solution. And we are going to see what changes that makes in the dependent. Now we have the bubble and we need to measure the, the height and we are placing the ruler and eye at the eye length and we've got a oh an eight centimeter bubble but that's not a problem because the ring remaining on the table shows us the diameter and the diameter of that large bubble was way out there to be 18 centimetres, a record large bubble. I tried to use all of the same things, the same amount of solution, the same length of time blowing through, the same diameter of the straw, the same temperature of the room, but the only thing that was different was the concentration of the bubble mixture. That is called your independent variable and your dependent variable is the things you measure, height and diameter. Have fun trying this yourself.